So yesterday I talked about the fact that they're making a God of War TV show and that was definitely not just five seconds ago. No, I definitely filmed these two videos at two different times, 100%. But I also want to talk about the Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer because everybody saw it and everybody is losing their minds. And what do I think about it? I have zero interest in the show. Now, I watched the first few episodes of The Mandalorian Season 1. I didn't care for it. I stopped watching. Didn't watch Season 2. Didn't watch Boba Fett. Never watched uh, Star Wars Rebels or The Clone Wars. No interest in it. And I will be honest, this might be the first Star Wars TV show I give a shot just because it stars Ewan McGregor. If I do watch this TV show, it's only because he's such a great actor and I want to see him in another TV show. But the show itself in concept alone just doesn't interest me. You've got this vast universe with all these different Vestas and characters and stories that you could tell. But Star Wars has no interest in moving ahead in any form. They decide to focus on the same characters, join the same timeline, on the same planet. We've got episode 1, The Phantom Menace, and episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, and all the stories take place between these two movies. And it's just so uninteresting because it just feels like an unneeded dot to connect. Oh, were you wondering how Han Solo got his name? No, not at all, but I guess you're going to give it to us. Oh, do you want to see what happened to Luke after episode 6? No, not really. Well, here it is anyways. And they just keep filling in this timeline gap of all these answers that I had zero interest in. And it's getting to the point where it's completely pathetic. And not just that, because of that you know what's going to happen. The story feels irrelevant because you've got these storylines of this evil empire rising up and taking over the galaxy and all these stories by default just feel so small scale towards that and you also got the sense that like well this story clearly can't impact the movies too much so it has to be an irrelevant story but if that wasn't bad enough which it is mind you but if it wasn't they go to the same planet time and time again now in this case it makes sense to go back to Tatooine because that's where Obi-Wan Kenobi was between episodes 3 and 4, except it looks like that might not be all that he was at. Um, it's a weird choice to take him off this planet, which I guess I'm going to contradict my point, but um, I'm sick of Tatooine. Tatooine is like the most boring planet in all of Star Wars. You know, I, I think it was meant, you know, like in, we see it in A New Hope, we see it in Phantom Menace, but then we got, what's that planet called? J Jaku? Gaku? Something like that in episode 7. It's just like, oh, it's another boring sand planet. And then the Mandalorian, I think, took place on Tatooine or a Tatooine looking planet. I think Book of Boba Fett did. And now Kenobi? Like, are you kidding me? Like, tell a story on Mustafar. Like, the planet where there's lava everywhere. Just. Do it there. Do it at Camino. Well, there's water everywhere. Oh, Kashyyyk. Is that what? Yes, Kashyyyk. I'm not a Star Wars expert. Uh, I only know these planet names because I used to play Battlefront when I was a kid. But Kashyyyk, the Wookiee planet with all the mountains and the different landscapes, just tell these stories in a place where you can at least give the illusion that it's something new. It looks different. It sounds different. Just something. If you're going to tell the same boring stories time and time again, at least have something different. At least have a change in scenery. That's the least you can offer us. Because my goodness, Star Wars doesn't have an ounce of originality in it left. Like, uh, the more Star Wars goes on for, the less I think it should have existed after the prequels. Now, I wish the prequels were better movies, of course, but there is a great story there. If they pulled off the prequels, like, you know, if... George Lucas did direct them, they got a better director, the story that they wanted to tell was fully on display, that would be an amazing trilogy. So I understand why they made the prequels, I'm okay with that. But everything past the prequels just feels so unnecessary. 
The sequel trilogy just rehashed the same plot points. And, you know, they could have told a great story where the Stormtrooper turns into a Jedi, but then they focus on this Luke ripoff, and they just made her into the perfect Jedi. And, you know, I'll give credit where credit is due. Even though I hate The Last Jedi, at least Ryan Johnson tried something different with this franchise. But Rogue One filled with uninteresting characters that I couldn't have cared less about. So, boring, generic, hated it. Why the Skywalker a complete disaster of a movie? Like if Star Wars just ended after episode 3, despite the prequels, and you know what, the prequels are gaining in popularity now. People are seeing these bland movies and they're going back to the prequels and they're like, you know what, at least there's a vision there. And I agree with them. They're not good movies, minus the third one. I do enjoy the third one. But I'd rather watch the prequels over anything recent Disney's done with this franchise. And if they just ended it after 3, Star Wars would go down in history as just top-notch world building, great story, great characters. But now we've gotten so much of it to the point where people don't care. Now if I'm talking about this actual trailer and not just Star Wars, there's nothing about this trailer that excites me. It seems very small scale in comparison because we've got Obi-Wan and he's Watching after Luke, he's being a peeping Obi. I guess that's what they call it in the Star Wars universe, I assume. And then you've got this Grand Inquisitor guy. To my understanding, like he hunts down Jedi's, which, okay, fine, that's a cool story. But we've got Obi Wan, he's leaving Tatooine to go on this adventure to come back to Tatooine. It just. I don't know. If it was a brand new character that they somehow got Ian McGregor to come back and play again. I'm just kidding. I just love him as an actor. But if they got a new character and they told that story on some planet like Kamino or Kashyyyk or something interesting like that, I might be more on board with this show. But I can't possibly because they've given us way too much Star Wars to the point where I just don't care anymore. I just want to be taken... I say I want to be taken out of this timeline, but the more I think about it, the more that Star Wars was meant to exist. Only the stories from episodes 1 to 6. Like, you've got this grand story, and what makes Star Wars Star Wars? You've got the Jedi, the Thith, the Rebels, the Empire. That's Star Wars. And I think it became clear during the sequel trilogy that your eyes are going to copy it, plot beat for plot beat, character for character, to the point where nothing feels new. And if you shy away from that completely, it's just not going to feel like Star Wars. So, I don't know. If they're going to do Star Wars, if you ask me what I would do is I would tell some kind of... Get Guillermo del Toro, get a visionary director to just tell a really weird story on a different planet with some new characters. To show there could be stories told in this universe. Because right now, I'm not sold on it. I might watch it because I love Ian McGregor, but... My excitement and it's bad. And can I just say one last thing is I'm, I've hardly spent any time talking about the trailer and my trailer review. But um, the trailer itself did nothing for me. Nothing about it looks great. The Grand Inquisitor actually looks like a really stupid villain. But my goodness, John Williams' score is great. Love it. Do of the Fates, Battle of the Heroes, whatever other music's in this trailer. Great. Love it. But it is so lazy to rely on that score time and time again to get people excited for Star Wars. It's cheap nostalgia bait, and I'm sick of it. They're like, well, how can we get people excited for this? Just put in the music that you already know they like. You know, the Boy Season 3 trailer just came out, and I had no interest in this season. I have had lots of issues with that TV show. But that trailer was just so good. You know, they took a brand new Imagine Dragons song, and just the way it's, the trailer was shot and edited, you get a sense of just how graphic it's going to be. And you know, I'm just like, you know what, I'm actually excited now. But you just watch it and it just feels like the same old Star Wars time and time again. So now, uh, those are my thoughts on the Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer. I have zero excitement for it, but I might still watch it. Because Ewan. But um, yeah, what did you think of the trailer? Did you like it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon. And Gavin, out.